Air New Zealand staff say there are a multitude of loopholes in the airline's border controls and COVID testing and isolation requirements need urgent attention. The Health Minister today met with Air New Zealand to discuss ways to tighten COVID restrictions after saying he was concerned with their procedures. Air New Zealand says while it's open to improvements, it hasn't had a COVID case in the airline since April and is confident the current protocols are working. Nita Blake Person reports. Passengers flying into New Zealand present one of our biggest vulnerabilities to COVID-19 making a comeback here. While returning travellers must undergo strict 14-day isolation requirements, the air crews bringing them home are largely exempt. I think there's a multitude of loopholes and some of them are due to the way the airline operates. But also, unfortunately, I believe that the loopholes and the vulnerabilities at the border are due to the way things have been designed by Ministry of Health rules. This Air New Zealand staffer spoke to Checkpoint under condition of anonymity. He says there's been unease for some time among crews about the current rules, which mean only those returning from America are required to self-isolate, have a COVID-19 test on day two, and continue to self-isolate until the results of that test have been returned. These are his words, but not his voice. There's no requirement for me to stop, isolate, or even get a test after coming back from anywhere that is in America. However, I'm doing that because voluntarily, you know, because it's the right thing to do. So I am managing the quarantine at home purely because we have enough space. But many crew have difficulty with that. They might have flatmates or they might have the situation be so that they cannot physically isolate at home without putting people at risk. He says it's vital there is a stand-down period and testing between every international flight, especially because currently the burden is placed entirely on the crew themselves and staff can fly home domestically to self-isolate after completing a long-haul flight. In my mind, every flight is similar risk and it's regardless of how many days you're over in those destinations. They all carry the same amount of risk and I don't know why the Ministry of Health or in New Zealand is able to justify having lower testing requirements for certain trips. The Ministry of Health website states that because of the importance of maintaining international air routes, New Zealand-based international air crew are mostly exempt from requirements for isolation if they meet certain conditions. They include wearing gloves and masks when in passenger areas and full PPE when dealing with a sick passenger suspected of having COVID-19. The Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says those requirements have been agreed on with health authorities. So those are protocols that have all been worked through with the Ministry of Health um, and Air New Zealand based on questions around who they're exposed to, whether or not they stop. For pilots, for instance, I understand coming out of Australia, they don't leave their cockpit the entire time. So that assessment has been done between Health and Air New Zealand. Again, as with our constant improvements, I know the Minister of Health met with Air New Zealand this morning to talk about how we can continually beef up the regime that we have. Again, nothing at this point to demonstrate that's been we've had issue here. Health Minister Chris Hipkins says he discussed testing requirements during his meeting with Air New Zealand this morning. So one of the things that we've got to look at is what the testing regimes on the other side are. In some cases air crew are being required to test before they leave the country. They're being asked, they're being required to test when they arrive in another country and then they're being asked to test when they get back to New Zealand, uh, which clearly is is an unsustainable level of testing for one person to undertake. Uh, It wouldn't be in their own uh, health interests to do that. So we've just got to work our way through all of those practical ins and outs to make sure that the regime is as, is as robust as possible. The staffer says while Air New Zealand is doing the right thing most of the time, isolation and testing on every international flight has to happen. They have a fiscal imperative, which is weighing very heavily on, of course, everyone, and they would not want to have the extra cost of the stand down between every single flight and the testing. They would not want that, but it's the only way to have better surety and protection from the virus getting back into our community. In New Zealand Chief Executive Greg Foran says he's supportive of the government considering options for improvements to their current testing regime and adds the protocols the airline has in place are working because there hasn't been a case of COVID-19 in the airline since early April. For Checkpoint, Nita Blakeperson.